Hello, College of Science students, family, and friends. Thank you for joining us for our first ever virtual honors convocation during Family Weekend at the University of Arizona. My name is Elliot Chu. I'm the Interim Dean for the College of Science, and I wanted to take a moment to congratulate our students who have earned Dean's List and above for the previous academic year. Your hard work and dedication to success, despite all the challenges in your path, deserve special recognition. Congratulations. I recognize that this year has presented many challenges to you, including decisions about health, working, and studying remotely. I can only imagine what your life has been like this past year. And because of that, achieving an honor such as Dean's List is something to really celebrate. I'd like to now introduce Dr. Rebecca Gomez, the Interim Associate Dean for Student Academic Success in the College of Science. Take it away, Rebecca. Thank you, Elliot. Hello, family, friends, and fellow Wildcats. Welcome to our 2020 Honors Convocation for the College of Science. We're sorry we can't be together to celebrate your amazing accomplishments, but we are proud of your hard work and dedication. And we are so excited to celebrate your performance that merits special attention. The cord you received this year is to be worn with pride at your graduation ceremony, along with any other cords you may have earned in years past. We bestow these honor cords to recognize your outstanding academic achievements and to encourage your continued scholarship. Students earn awards in one of four impressive categories depending on their GPA for one semester or for the entire academic year. To celebrate, we have some very special guests. Wilbur, Wilma, and their cheer team are here to help us recognize our awardees in the four award categories.
Now for a brief message from a few of our College of Science ambassadors who are also receiving honors today. Hello, College of Science students. My name is Madison Delma, and I am a College of Science ambassador studying mathematics, and I'm also a senior. Now, coronavirus has challenged everyone on the planet, and this includes students. And I know one thing that I have experienced that I'm sure many students have experienced is kind of the monotony of everyday life. The fact that our days just blur together so much, it's hard to even know what day of the week it is, and this can often make me feel like I'm not actually achieving anything. Like everything I'm doing has become very mediocre because I just go through the motions, attend class, get my assignments done, but there are very, very few opportunities to really excel at something or make something really amazing. And so this, for me, has made my motivation kind of dwindle. And I know one thing that has helped me through this situation and that hopefully can help other people is kind of reflecting on why I came to college. And I know when you're in high school, it's very easy to look at the college experience and think, wow, look at all these amazing things that I get to do. There's research, there's um, opportunities that could get me into graduate programs or into med school or into whatever career aspiration is your particular um, dream for the future. And it's a lot harder when you're actually in college to realize how amazing everything we're doing truly is. And so I try to remind me, myself of that, that research really is something that is special and that I can take pride in and that my different extracurriculars are all doing good things for other people, even if I can't necessarily see those people in person. And then I try to remember my life goals and why I set out for a college degree, because even though we, many of us might have plans for the future that look more difficult than, you know, the college degree we're pursuing right now, we really are engaged in a very challenging experience right now. College isn't meant for everyone. It's very challenging and difficult. And so because we're doing something that is extraordinary, we are being challenged. And so I try to remind myself that this is an amazing feat. And I also try to look at this experience as an opportunity. I don't always have the opportunity to stay in my house and just immerse myself in my discipline. And even though I've had many times where I've been challenged by my own degree program, by the math that I'm trying to learn, it has been really amazing to see how much I've been able to learn and how much better I've become over these last few months. And so I think reflecting on that progress is also extremely helpful. And one thing that I want to leave you guys with is I know that it can be very easy to look at all of the majors around you in your particular departments and degree programs and see how smart everyone is and all these amazing things that everyone's doing and pursuing a difficult degree can kind of turn into the norm that you see. But I have seen the science that so many of my friends are learning in different majors around the College of Science and everything looks so complicated. And of course, I wouldn't understand your majors just like other people might not necessarily understand what I'm learning but we are learning such difficult concepts and it really is quite amazing. And the fact that everyone watching their ceremony not only is pursuing a difficult major and is willing to challenge themselves like that, but is also making excellent grades in their major is really wonderful. So definitely be proud of yourself. This isn't an easy time and just try to have compassion for yourself and know that you're doing something really awesome. I'm really proud of you. Hello everyone, my name is Ashna Kapoor and I am a College of Science ambassador. I am a senior currently and I'm graduating in May and I'm majoring in psychological sciences and getting my minor in Spanish. Um, things were definitely difficult for me at the beginning of COVID, but the way that I've adapted to this change is by setting a schedule for myself that I follow every single day and just trying to do something fun every single day, whether it's having a dance party with my roommate or painting. Um, just something small is getting outside and getting some sun has been really helpful to me personally. Um, I've been applying to grad schools at the moment and just trying to figure out the next phase of my life. I am applying to PhD programs currently and am going to be pursuing a clinical psychology degree and want to be a clinical psychologist and have my own private practice as an end goal. 
And lastly, I just wanted to congratulate all the students receiving honors. You are all so hardworking and dedicated and truly deserve this honor. So congratulations and good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you for joining us today. Congratulations to all.